What the audit found was that because of bad uh, oversight and management of the contract itself, they overcharged taxpayers $11.3 million, at least $11.3 million over about a 10-year period. And moreover, there was about $2 million worth of unused warehouse space that the state was leasing. Uh, and essentially what the ABC folks said was, this is warehouse space that we lease to have room to put together holiday packages when the different uh, distillers and distributors put together their, their, you know, their, their packages that have the gift set with the, with the bottles right. of liquor and, the, and mm -hmm. the shot glasses and stuff like that. They needed special storage space for this. But the, the state auditor said, well, maybe it wasn't necessary to rent a warehouse for an entire year if you're only going to use it for two months when the warehouses are empty much of the time. So there was some back and forth about that. Now, all of this has caught the eye, uh, in particular, of one state lawmaker, Representative Chuck McGrady, and he has long been interested in how North Carolina handles the issue of alcohol distribution and sales. But in the wake of this audit, he's had some things to say, and Carolina Journal has been reporting on this. Uh, what is, is his reaction, and what does he want to do? Uh, Representative McGrady, who's uh, from Henderson County, uh, wants to look very seriously at going to a different system, a partial privatization, if you will, of the ABC system, and that is to get the state out of the retail business, essentially. To have the state ABC commission still in charge of uh, issuing licenses, of making sure through the, uh, through, alcohol, uh, through the alcohol law enforcement division to prosecute people who violate licenses, who sell unlicensed liquor, to go after, to go after uh, you know, the illegal stills, I mean, to do all the sorts of law enforcement aspects and the regulatory aspects, but then uh, have some other sort of model for retail and distribution. And basically, in other words, get the state out of the warehousing business and get the state out of the retail business.